there were rumors for years and speculation about would there be a revival? People were constantly asking. And then Disney had to go and like make our dreams only to like crush them. Um, how was that journey, like watching all of that unfold? I feel like I was just as outside of that as everyone else was, just kind of watching and wondering what was going to happen. I wasn't necessarily uh, banking on anything happening or I, I had no expectations attached to it. The rumor had come up so many times before and it had made sense to because I thought that it would be received very well, especially if it was if it wasn't a here's this new generation's version of Lizzie and instead was Lizzie's in her 30s. Like, what's life like now? I thought that would have a lot of traction to it. I would call it a Harry Pottering uh, the series, you know, where the show ages with its audience. I saw where there were some pitfalls with that because I think one of the things that made Liz McGuire so charming and popular was that it was very honest about the worldview of a girl in middle school that people hadn't really shown or talked about before. You know, I went abroad. It's a very, like, we're not going to talk about that <laughs> on TV. <laughs> but then if you take the same qualities about that honesty to a woman in her 30s, uh, there is more mature content. So I'm not sure if that's going to be uh, right for the, the medium, for it to keep its same spirit in that way. And I was interested in how that would play. And they got a couple episodes filmed and uh, reconnect with Hillary, like, yeah, like let's, let's maybe talk about what that might look like. And uh, then I guess what was greenlit, what, what was reviewed, then there was a, oh, this is what the show is? No, we're not doing yeah. that. It was kind of exciting. The thing I was most excited about was to see where the heck Ethan was yeah. in the world <laughs> at that time. We did an interview with Hillary, and she said mm. that Ethan was probably still on Lizzie's mind, even though she had a fiance. She had definitely hinted that like there was unfinished business. Were there any discussions at that point with you about coming back? There were discussions in terms of plot, or getting a script in hand. Uh, I was I was just like right before all that was kind of un unveiling. The world may never know, including me. <laughs> what would you have liked to see in for Ethan? And do you think Lizzie and Ethan could have worked? I don't think so. Just because uh, she, she just, I, I'm stalling because I think she needs someone that is a little more intellectually stimulating that way, like a, like a Gordo. However, I think sometimes she can overcomplicate things and that's one of Ethan's strengths. Sometimes his uh, ignorance to a situation is like a really good thing. Or he actually sees it, he sees, he sees everything going on, but it's just much more simple to him. And so he can like deflate something that could seem uh, chaotic or complicated into something very easy going and simple. So it's not always about like, well, like, are they similar enough? But it's like, well, do they, do they fit each other in that way. There'd be some people like, <laughs> I think she'd get both sides. She'd be like, are you really with that guy? And there'd be other people <laughs> like, you're with that guy? What do you think Ethan's actually up to though? Like, what would you think he's doing? My wife and I like to imagine that he's a used car salesman and is just so good and just loves what he does. And he does it like well and like honestly, and he's like, he's what would be the mayor of the town. And like, he's just in everyone's circle, just like hanging out. And he just like got really into cars or something like that. Something like he's just more using his hands. Um, of course he could have gone into politics and just, you know, just be kind of a puppet figure there too. There's a lot of directions that he could go. I like the idea of him doing something, um, I don't want to call like, or car salesmanship or, or, or maybe even like a mechanic. People love to be around him because of his charisma and the way that he makes people feel. He also like wants to help people at the same time. And yeah. like got like really interested in something because he did like motocross and stuff like that. So being a mechanic, maybe he's not far off. Yeah.